everyone. I'm Emma from the Jackson County Public Library. This is Blueberry. Hello. And today we are going to do magic. Just kidding. We are going to do science. Science and magic are not the same thing. Sometimes science can look like magic, but in science there's a reason that everything happens. Today, for Super Simple Science, we are going to do some fun October chemistry experiments that you can do at home with just a few ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. With our magic science, we are going to make borax crystals, colorful Halloween bats, and an erupting pumpkin volcano. To make borax crystal leaves, you will need a cup, borax, popsicle stick, a pipe cleaner, a piece of string, and a measuring cup. You will also need hot water. First, I'm going to twist my pipe cleaner into the shape of a leaf. Ta-da! Next, I'll use the string to tie the pipe cleaner to the popsicle stick. What you want is for the leaf to be able to hang from the popsicle stick without touching the sides or the bottom of the cup. And you can test the cup before you add the borax to see how well your leaf fits. Now I'm going to add the borax to the cup. <coughs> Don't eat the borax. Depending on the size of the cup and how big you want your crystals, you can use a different amount of borax. But for this size crystal, what we need to use is about one fourth to one third of a cup of borax. Now we're going to add the hot water. I used a kettle to boil water, but you can also heat up water in the microwave or on the stove and stir your mixture very well to make sure all the borax dissolves. Finally, we're going to place the leaf in the borax mixture. The crystals will start to form in just a few hours, but for the best results, leave your mixture overnight and look at the crystals in the morning. Borax crystals are made through a chemical reaction called recrystallization. Borax is already in a crystallized form and like most minerals and solids, it becomes less soluble the colder it is and more soluble the warmer it is. And soluble means that it can dissolve in water. So, when we add borax to the hot water, like we did here, it becomes very soluble and it dissolves. But as the water cools, the borax becomes less soluble and starts to separate from the water, reforming crystals in the process called recrystallization. While we're waiting for our crystals to form, we can do our next activity which is to make a Halloween bat. For this, you will need a coffee filter, a clothespin, scissors, washable markers, and a spray bottle of water. First, decorate your coffee filter with whatever pattern you choose. After your coffee filter is decorated, spray it with the water and make sure it gets all the way wet so the colors have a chance to bleed. When the coffee filter is dry, it will look something like this. This experiment also deals with water solubility. These markers are water soluble, which means that the color in them blends in with the water, which makes it spread. With a non-water soluble marker, the colors would not run at all. Fold it in half, then fold it in half again. And now we're going to cut out 
the edges of the bat wings. Now take your clothespin and carefully crumple the middle of the coffee filter just slightly, pin the center with your clothespin and arrange the wings off to the side. Ta-da! Now you've got a colorful Halloween bat made possible by water-soluble markers. Now we can return to our borax crystals. If you've waited a few hours or overnight, your borax crystals might be finished. When they're done, they will look something like this. For a very last experiment, you can use the same cup that you used to make the borax crystals or a different one. I don't have an orange cup, so I drew a pumpkin. Now I'm going to draw a jack-o'-lantern face. And I'm going to carefully cut out the eyes and mouth with scissors. You can also use a box cutter or other kind of knife, and it might be smart to get an adult to help you. Ta-da! I think I would like my jack-o'-lantern to erupt green. So what I'm going to do is first add a few drops of green food coloring to the cup. Next, I'm going to pour white, pour so much that it runs out of the mouth. And finally, I'm going to pour baking soda into the pumpkin. books about chemistry at the Jackson County Public Library. These include Awesome Science Experiments for Kids by Crystal Chatterton, The Eyewitness Book of Chemistry, Charlotte the Scientist is Squished by Camille Andros, and The Secret Science Experiment That Almost Ate the School by Jody Sierra. You can call the library to make an appointment to visit and pick out your books, or you can place them on hold and pick them up at curbside pickup. <laughs> Blueberry says that we have a special Halloween program coming up at the end of the month, so keep an eye on our Facebook page and our website. Now, wizards, I mean scientists, get to work. Magic.